What's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about the Ripple XRP price chart and exit strategy, exit plan, exit price points. We're going to try to find them. Now, over the course of the last six months, we've proposed a couple of different scenarios. And really, we've presented the idea that $13, $26, and $55 have been the targets. In this video, I'm going to take an alternative look look at that and we're going to really break down this chart and compare it to a few things to see well are there different targets that we should be looking at a lot of times when i present this stuff and i'm about to present a lot i get asked the question so hey do you think this is going to happen wait are you saying that this is going to happen i'm not saying anything the only thing i'm telling you is what i see on the chart and we're going to measure moves out and you can interpret that data the way you need to interpret it okay so i'm just going to present the data to you and you can decide how you would like to use that data. And that's all I'm doing because this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor or an investment advisor, but I'm going to present you a ton of data. So, okay, we're going to get beyond that now. And now let me just show you what I've got going on. And you're going to have to excuse me because there's going to be a lot in here and you may need to rewatch this video in order to kind of catch everything. Before I end up making a video the day before, I'll sometimes try to do some show prep or, you know, figure out what is it I'm going to talk about. I play with charts for hours to try to figure out what can I see on here. And yesterday, I started kind of playing with the XRP price chart and saying, wow, okay, let's, you know, these bull runs are so short and the bear markets are so long. So I was like, okay, let me just kind of color coordinate what it would look like for all of these bear markets and these bull markets. And you could see, I, I've highlighted in blue how long a bear, a bull market is, and in red, how long a bear market is. So bull in blue bear in red and you could see that bull markets are incredibly short you barely have any time to make a decision you get stuck in this bull market or this bear market mentality for so long and then finally a bull market comes and before you know it that bull market is over and you're back in a bear market again and these things happen super super fast you can just see i mean a, a bull market lasts <sighs> about 10% of the time is a bear market, maybe shorter, right? It's just not very long at all. And then you're in a prolonged bear market. So I started drawing this out and putting these color coordinates on here. Then I was like, you know what? Let's put some big lines on here too. So we could see the start and we could see the end, start and end. And just, it really kind of added an extra effect. And then I decided to myself, you know what? Let's compare this to Bitcoin and see where was Bitcoin at at the exact time of each of these rallies. I know a lot of times we speculate and we talk about all of these plans that Ripple has and how XRP will be used, but so far over the course of the last seven years, XRP has behaved in line with other altcoins and responding to Bitcoin. It has moved with the market. So when I'm showing you this information right here, this information is based on if XRP is moving with the market. I know I will get a lot of comments in the comment section saying, no, these things are going to happen. All these speculative narratives that will occur and hey, those things very well may come true. But right now in this video, I'm going to present the ideas of if we're just going to continue following Bitcoin like we have for seven years. Until we break away from that trend, this is the best thing we can do. We can only speculate when that break from that trend will occur. But right now, let's just pretend we're going to continue doing what we've done. So if you're watching this on a iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy or on an iPad or something like that, it may be hard to see all the data points that I have on here. And I'll try to zoom in on some different points. But if you could see right here, these little blue boxes I've put right here, over the Bitcoin chart. These boxes represent the time period of when XRP was in an actual bull run and flying to the moon. And this is where Bitcoin was at those particular times. So let's go back and relive these moments and see what was going on with Bitcoin when XRP went on its bullish moves. The first big bullish move that XRP had was back in November of 2013. And this is when Bitcoin was coming up to top at a little bit over $1,200. Bitcoin was reaching the very top of its parabolic run at the end of 2013. And right there in that final moment, that final push of that bull market is when XRP 
fired to the moon, and it went from half of a cent to six cents. So it 12x'd during this final move right here for Bitcoin. Then Bitcoin went into a prolonged bear market, a bear market that lasted from December of 2013 and then capitulated and crashed at January of 2015. And this was about an 85% crash for Bitcoin. When we look down here at XRP, we could see we had the big fall as well. And then right here, XRP went on a big run and it went from about a half of a cent up to about three cents. So about six X itself right here in this big run right before Bitcoin capitulated. So right before this move. So this is the Bitcoin chart over on trading view. And this is the previous bear market. XRP had its massive little run where it's 6 x right here, right before Bitcoin capitulated to the bottom. This is the moment right here where Bitcoin capitulated to the bottom back in 2018 in our current cycle. So here we are, XRP does some major run right here before Bitcoin capitulates to the bottom. This is a key moment to remember because it comes back and becomes extremely relevant later in the chart. Now we move on forward. So at this point, XRP goes into kind of a dormant phase, a very long, long consolidation of just boring, flat consolidation all the way over to here. During the same time, Bitcoin goes from the bottom and slowly but surely grinds its, all, its way up. Right here is the block having grinds its way up, grinds its way up. And then finally, at this moment in time is where XRP decides to completely take off. Well, let's lay down a, a line right here at this exact moment of where XRP took off on the Bitcoin price chart. And Bitcoin was approximately $921. And the previous all-time high was about $1,265. So at about $961, XRP starts this rocket ship right here. And this was a big one. This took XRP from half of a cent all the way up to seven cents. Bitcoin was not at an all-time high. Bitcoin had come up and touched the all-time high, but was not at the all-time high. It was still below it. Then XRP consolidates for a moment right in here as Bitcoin is pressing up against the all-time high. And the moment that Bitcoin does break above the all-time high right back here, is when XRP also breaks out and goes from three cents to 40 cents right here as Bitcoin actually clears and does a clear breakout above the all time high. And at that moment in time is where XRP stopped. And XRP again went dormant during the rest of the Bitcoin bull run. From here on out, Bitcoin went from $1,700 all the way up to $17,000 and XRP did not do anything during that time. And then, just like we saw back in the 2013 bull run, as Bitcoin approached the very top of its parabolic rise, XRP once again fired off to the top at the top of Bitcoin's parabolic rise. Then XRP went dormant again, and it just kept grinding all the way down until this moment right here, back in September of 2018. We'll go ahead and zoom in on this moment right here. And if you were here, you probably remember this. If you weren't, I'll explain it to you. Out of nowhere, XRP did a 150% fire to the upside, and this only took two days to happen. It happened in incredible fashion and very, very fast. Now, what's important about this moment right here is we are right before the Bitcoin capitulation, just like we were back here. We had this big rise right before Bitcoin capitulated out of nowhere. While Bitcoin was flat, XRP went on a huge ride to the upside right here. As Bitcoin was flat right before the capitulation, XRP went on a huge rise to the upside. So what can we take from all of this information? Well, we can say we can compare what has occurred recently to what has occurred over the time period of the past. And we can see very specific times that XRP does fire to the upside. One of them is very clear. It's when Bitcoin is reaching the very top of its parabolic rise, XRP has a tendency to fire to the upside as well. This has happened in both of the previous Bitcoin bull runs. At the very final stage of the Bitcoin bull run, XRP also fires to the upside. Also, we do have where Bitcoin, prior to capitulating to the very bottom, 
XRP fires to the upside that occurred in the last market cycle and that occurred in this market cycle right here. So we have two situations where Bitcoin was topping and XRP fired up and prior to Bitcoin capitulating, XRP fired up. So what are we missing that we don't have a repeat of on here? That's going to be this moment right here when Bitcoin is testing and breaking above the all time highs. So is this going to be a time prediction to tell you that this is going to happen when Bitcoin breaks above the all time highs? No, because we don't know if that's really why it broke out right there. The only thing we can do is compare it to the location of where it was. Does that actually mean it was the breakout of the all time high that caused the XRP breakout? We don't know. But that's where Bitcoin was when that happened. So, okay, where am I going with this if I'm going to show you new price targets, right? Well, like I mentioned, this point in time was incredibly important to figure out how high XRP was going to go. And let me show you why. If you've watched my channel for a while, then you've seen me do this before. We can measure exactly how high XRP went by putting on our Fibonacci retracement levels. And lining them up right there. We put the bottom of it right here, the top of it right here, the 0.236. And like magic, we get a perfect hit right here. Let's zoom in on it. You could see it reached exactly perfectly to the top right there. Let me go back and show that to you again. We align the 0.236 right here at the top and right down here at the bottom. This moment in time was that little rally that occurred right before Bitcoin capitulated to the bottom. That one gave us our measurement of how high this next move would go for when Bitcoin did break above the previous all time high. So if we moved over to current times right now, that would mean we would want to use this moment right here, the rally that occurred prior to Bitcoin capitulating in order to measure out how high our next move could take us, or at least this particular impulse that occurred when Bitcoin was break testing and breaking out above the all time high. So we'll come in here and we'll drop a measurement exactly like we did on the last one. First thing we do is put it over here on the bottom. We'll come in and modify it like this. And what target does that give us? Measuring it like this gives us an initial target of $10.85 as the first impulse for XRP when using this method. Now, what would happen if we went and grabbed that previous fractal and laid it down on top of here? Well, we can line it up right here on the top. You can see that this is going to be lined up right here at the very top of this. Let me put it right there. you could see exactly where the target takes us to, right out to that $10.85 level. Now I know what's going to happen here. People are going to see this fractal. They're going to start interpreting it as time. Remember, I'm not telling you what I think. I'm not giving you any type of time predictions. I'm showing you data and where it would take you to. We've seen multiple times over that placing fractals for time on top of each other do not have a tendency to repeat. However, price targets somehow do. You also may be noticing when you look at this that on this fractal, the price actually did dip a little bit lower, went to 10 and a half cents compared to our current bottom, which is at 12 cents. Am I saying that this price is going to go to 10 and a half cents? No, I'm not. I'm just showing you that when we point the top of this moment right here, when we put the top of that moment right exactly there, it does measure out when we measure it with the current data we have on the chart. It takes us right here to 1085 and placing that on top there also takes us exactly to 1085 when we grab the exact same moment in time, the little rally that occurred with XRP prior to Bitcoin capitulating, which occurred here as well.
Now, one thing you may be noticing on here as well is that this takes a price target for the second rally to take us up to $96. And yep, it sure does. If we did exactly what happened in the past, that would mean that once Bitcoin broke above these all-time highs, XRP had its rally, then XRP would go dormant again for Bitcoin to do the remainder of its rally. After this breakout from the all-time high and XRP did its rally, Bitcoin still continued to go up an additional 1,100% while XRP did nothing. So for all those people who are currently holding right now and are losing patience, I want you to imagine what that was like. Watching Bitcoin go up 1,100% while XRP was still down 50% off the all-time high. This is nothing new for a lot of the long-term XRP holders watching what is occurring right now. It's why a lot of people can still maintain through this all because we've seen things far worse than this. When you watch the rest of the market completely taking off without you, it can be quite emotionally devastating. But eventually XRP comes back to save the day. And then once again, once Bitcoin reached its top, XRP went on its monstrous rise. So I found this data to be incredibly interesting. It, it seems as though we are following the exact moments that we have followed in the past, that XRP has its rallies at the very top of the Bitcoin markets, and then has its rally right before Bitcoin capitulates to the bottom, which would mean the next rally would occur right here when X, when Bitcoin is potentially testing or breaking near the all-time highs. And then once again, XRP would go dormant while Bitcoin did the remainder of its bull run. And then once everybody was exiting from Bitcoin, XRP would take off again. And when we measure out our moves from the past and how they perfectly reacted to the Fibonacci retracement levels, and if we applied that to current times and current price actions, that would actually give us an initial target of $10.85 rather than $13. And it would give us a final target of $96 to $98 rather than $55. So I know that was a lot of information to take in. I hope you guys like that. I actually, I personally, like when I, when I create a lot of content, you know, there's some times where you feel like, wow, I'm really onto something. Sometimes you're kind of like, mm, you know, maybe. And then there's those times where you're like, wow, that was, that was gold. This is one of those moments where I feel that was actually gold. I feel really good about posting that right there. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you're not following me on Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is is at BC Backer. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video and give it a thumbs up. I always check those thumbs up and they mean a lot to me. Please subscribe to my channel. That way you can be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor. But if you ever need a pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.